Yep, do you see that? That right there is a Reich Saddler, and it is on my tunic. It's been a pain in the butt trying to get on there, but you know what? It's all worth it. Now, the Reich Saddler isn't just like, you know, well, I guess I could put it in simpler terms. It's like the American flag on current U.S. servicemen's uniforms. Now, people believe that, oh, that's just a real evil symbol right there. But in reality, that symbol means German pride, German strength, German purity, German, uh, I mean, anything that can establish of what the German Empire is nowadays or what people remember the German Empire nowadays is through its strength and superiority of how it rebuilt itself after World War I by the establishment of the Reichsadler when Adolf Hitler was voted into office in 1935. Well, two years after he was voted into office in 1935. In 1933, he was voted into office. And by decree of the Chancellor, i.e. Adolf Hitler, he wanted every single building or everyone to wear the Reichsadler for national reasons. To establish national, to re-establish the national identity of the German people. Now, to pull off the narrative of the old empire, I mean, the days of the old empire, of the German Empire during World War One, was a time of great prosperity. Actually, it was a time when German industry was at its highest peak, especially rivaling the old empires of Europe: uh, the British Empire, the French Republic, the Austria-Hungarian Empire, the Russian Empire. I mean, it was all nothing but great prosperity for the European continent during those days. Right? And again, I'll also feed off the narrative about how Germany pulled itself out of the Phoenix fire, or how the Phoenix flew, or how the Phoenix emerged from the ashes out of World War I. Because again, that is definitely important if you're talking about German history. And the Reichsadler is actually a reborn redition or a reborn concept of what Adolf Hitler just wanted to, wanted to build for Germany, or reestablish Germany, or reestablish for Germany. Because again, they had to reestablish their national pride within Germany. It wasn't, I mean, during the days of the Weimar Republic, it was all about anti-German narrative. All, every single German during those times, especially during the Great Depression, throughout the Weimar Republic, as well as the hyperinflation that happened, every German believed that World War I was their fault. Everyone believed that what they deserved at the tree, after the Treaty of Versailles was signed, that they deserved every single horrible thing that was given to them. And that pretty much brought about the anti-German narrative that you saw from after, I mean, after the Weimar Republic to the beginning of the German Empire, or the Third Reich. And again, it was all about restoring national faith and national pride, national strength into the German people. I mean, what do you have when your entire people suddenly forgets their culture? That's scary. That is really, really scary. A people that has no identity, that has no roots, that has no history. I don't know. It's, it's a fate worse than death, more likely. An entire race of people to vanish just like that. that that's just scary as well. Especially if it's done by your own people. Now, the history of the Reichsadler goes all the way back to the Holy Roman Empire. Of how the Reichsadler's um, unique, iconic image of the eagle, which means strength within all cultures. Strength, dignity, purity. I mean, name name a, a great aspiration of the eagle because that's what it was, and that's how it really means when it, when you're trying to build a symbol. And again, the Reich Saddler wasn't a still. I mean, this is like a rendition of the previous Reich Saddler uh, during the days of the first of I mean, the Second Empire during World War One. And this is more like the Phoenix out of the fire type of Reich Saddler because this the, this symbol wasn't introduced until 1935, I believe after Adolf Hitler was voted into office in 1933. Now, the Reichsadler can be seen in many um, German architects, well, architectural features uh, throughout uh, the Third Reich, if you can actually see them. I mean, they also come in, with, come in with this strong look, this strong, broad look of the eagle, and as well as a wreath around the swastika. And that was more like a political message to many Germans out there proclaiming that the empire has returned. Our empire is going to rebuild and we're going to make it better than the last time. We're going to forget the days of the old Weimar Republic, the failures of the old Weimar Republic, and we're going to reestablish re our roots and build ourselves the Third Reich, the Third German Reich, or the Third Empire for short. It was more like how Obama says that yes we can, but instead of using gross democratic policies that are going to actually rebuild themselves from the ground up, after the, especially with the Treaty of Versailles and including um, uh, poor economic choices that were 
established during the Weimar Republic. So yeah, they had a lot of work to do. They definitely had a lot of work to do, but it, they eventually did. They eventually got through it all. It was important for an army symbol as well. I mean, not just for a um, national, for a national symbol, but also for a uh, military, militaristic as well. They want everyone to know that the empire has returned. No better symbol to use than the Reichsadler, the Reich Eagle because that's how powerful it was. I mean, if anyone wanted to, it was more like, come at me, bro. See this? This means something. It's like how Americans are very patriotic when it comes down to the American flag. I love the American flag. To me, the American flag means freedom, liberty, the rule of law, and all that other good stuff. It means that Americans will fight for freedom. That flag literally stands for freedom. We'll fight for freedom. We'll fight for you. We'll fight for to establish your freedom. Uh, there was a famous quote by General Powell because, again, America doesn't really conquer lands. We just want a piece of land so that we'll be able to bury our dead, our honored dead. I forgot what he says, but I bet you can see it from right up here. And again, that's what the American flag means to me. And a little controversial, I, I definitely admit to individuals who don't really know much about the Reichsadler. Again, it was more political message to its people, to the German people as well as a militaristic message for guys who were serving in the military. It was more like a symbol of strength, a symbol of strength, a symbol of German strength, a symbol of German endurance. I mean, the empire that we lost during World War I has, been, has risen out of the ashes of the Weimar Republic and into the Third Reich, reestablished by Adolf Hitler. And no better way to no better way to claim that political message than to use the Reichsadler that is illustrated like this. Well, that's all I got for you guys. And aside from the multicam hat, I'm still looking for a helmet because that's a tricky piece of material that I need and to create the, well, to actually make the ensemble, you know, verifiable, especially with winter coming. And it's, it's really getting, it's getting cold too. It's really, really getting cold. And you guys, want to check out more or if you want to see more content I highly suggest that you click that notification bell and you'll be able to see my new content at a later on a later on date on a later date or a later on date as well because I, I really care about if you guys can actually get this stuff and you can actually see what I'm preparing not just for another airsoft event but for another Milsom event hopefully it's a Milsom a Milsom event that actually you know is more liberal on uniforms the reason why I chose the summer tunic because it's a little bit, it leans more green because when you look at wool German tunics, they're more gray, I mean stone gray, or possibly even mouse gray, or the, well, the famous mouse gray uniforms. And again, I chose the summer tunic for Milsom events because it's more green as well. And if need be, I'll have to lightly dye it a little bit more green, but as, as far as you can tell, it's, I really hope to go to a more liberal air, a Milsom event that is more liberal with their, with their uniforms, I really do. But aside from that, airsofters, I got nothing else for you guys. But that's the importance of the one, two, the three, two, one. But aside from that, airsofters, that's all I got for you. And this, the importance of the Reich Saddler is very important for many Germans who did serve in the in the Wehrmacht and as well as the Waffen SS because they now know that the Empire is back. The Empire is back and strong, and we actually have a symbol to get behind it. Um. But again, the next thing I need to do is my collar tab, so I'll be able to put another video out for that. But until that time, this is Skinwalker, signing off.